Several players applauded as champions Rangers took to the field at Ibrox, but it shouldn't be forgotten that the Jags have done well too this season, staying in the top flight. Rangers should have taken the lead early. Alex Cleland, if you're watching, I'd look away now. But Thistle had their early chances too. A well-worked move into the danger area. Taylor and Foster involved, but Maxwell blocked McDonald's effort there. A goal was sure to come, and it almost did. Again, Cleland was heavily involved. Hately had a crack on the edge of the box. Walker couldn't hold it, and Cleland couldn't score from the rebound. But Thistle almost made Rangers pay for that miss. Foster out wide in the left. He nipped inside Craig Moore and picked out McDonald, who lined it up for Taylor, and Rangers lucky to survive that. And the champions went ahead just after that. Skipper for the day, Durant's corner, Moore with the scoring header. And they went for a second goal right at the start of the second 45. Loudrop with the nicely flighted cross, Hately just too high with the header. But Rangers fans like the look of this lad, young Paul McKnight, with a good hit from distance. There were chances aplenty now. Durant inside the box. Walker just touched it away from Hately, and Mikhailichenko blasted it into the Copeland Road end. Then a quite amazing survival act by Thistle. Durant to Loudrop. Walker saved. Hately couldn't put it in. Durant set up Loudrop once again. And what do you know? A rare moment of embarrassment for the Great Dane. But McKnight impressed the home fans once again with another good strike from long range. <laughs> Goalkeeper Andy Gorham entered proceedings and he got a rousing welcome from the Ibrox faithful. Mind you, he didn't know too much about Thistle's equaliser three minutes from time. A tremendous shot coming up here from Alec Taylor. And another well-earned point for the Jags. After the final whistle, Rangers skipper Richard Goff was presented with the Premier Division trophy by Lord McFarlane. And the Rangers players took a bow, having clinched a seventh consecutive title. And one interested onlooker not...